Hello and welcome to markplex.com. Uh, if you're not familiar with our site, then please go to www.marklex.com and you will find many tutorials and programs all to do with TradeStation Easy Language. In today's tutorial, I was asked by a client to create something a little like what I created back in tutorial 45. And what that was, was a very simple program that uh, put on the chart the, the, the highest high and the, um, in, in actual fact, the highest high for a period specified by a start and end date. I also included a version for download that included the the lowest low but uh, for the purpose of the tutorial it was the the highest high and what he wanted me to do was create a similar program but in this program we're going to be adding to that the day open price a a couple of prices that would be specified by a specific time in other words you would specific uh, specify a time and what would be plotted on the chart would be the opening of that time, a line or a plot showing yesterday's high, a plot showing yesterday's low, and also the capability of specifying a session or a period of time during the 24 hour period. And for that session, being able to see the high of that session and the low of that session. So for example, the uh, day open, I think that's pretty clear. Price one or, or time one could be the opening of say a particular market. Time two, which determines price two, could be the opening of another market. Yesterday high and low I think are clear, but then the session high, session low. This could be a particular overnight session or whatever. Anyway, what I've, uh, what I've done is created a program uh, which you can see applied to this chart. The way that the plots are drawn, you can change that by simply going into format analysis techniques and uh, for the particular program, going into style, and color. Uh, but what I want to do is just start this from scratch. Well, almost scratch because I've created another program called uh, 108D and uh, we're just going to go through and add the capabilities to that. And we may split this over a couple of videos just so that I can include the necessary detail. Okay, so I think one of the easiest, uh, oh and incidentally I've included the uh, variable names and, and input names just to save a little bit of typing. So I think probably one of the uh, the easiest ones to program is uh, the op the day open. So the way we do that, we say if date, you could say date if you wish, but I just use D, is not the same as the date one bar ago. Let me just uh, correct that. They are square brackets. So date one bar ago, then day open, which is one of our variables, is equal to the opening price. That's O, you could also say open. So that determines the, the day open. And uh, we then need to plot that. So we can simply do that by saying plot one day open. So I'm just gonna try and verify the program by clicking the little green tick symbol or pressing F3. And uh, if we go back to the chart now, you'll see that I already have the original program included. So what I'm gonna do is go format analysis techniques. I'm gonna turn off that, which would just leave our new program. And we can just have a look and see, uh, for example, here, is that a new day? Yes, it is. Uh, is, the, is the plot being drawn at the opening price? Yes, it is. That's probably not a particularly brilliant example, but uh, probably this one's better. So is that the opening bar of the day? Yes, it is. On this particular chart, uh, are we plotting a line at the open value? Now, one thing you'll probably see if you go back far enough is that uh, for the earliest bars, the, the line is being drawn at the zero level. And uh, that makes sort of messes up the chart. So what I've done, and uh, I think it sort of makes it look a little bit better, is I'd, I've said if day open is not equal to zero, then plot day open. And if we go back to the chart now, you'll see that for the earliest bars, it just doesn't plot anything, but at least we don't get 
all the uh, the charts scrunched up into one little corner okay that's day open that's pretty straightforward another one that we want to do is the high and the low of a particular day so we're going to plot lines there so the uh, way we do that is we say yes high which is one of those uh, variables that I've created is equal to high D which is a built-in trade station function for essentially yesterday we put the one in there there we have it we can do the same for yesterday low equals a low D like so and then we need to plot both of those so let's go down to where we're plotting so plot four is yes high plot five is yes low so we're going to try and verify that and if we go to the chart you'll see some some new lines appearing now again if we were to go right to the beginning of the chart we're going to see this situation again where the price is all hunched up at the top of the chart because we have something down here plotting at uh, one which is the effectively the error code or minus one which is the error code for that particular function so what we're probably going to do here is say if yes high is not equal to minus one then plot four and again if yes low is not equal to minus one then plot five so I'm going to verify and look at the chart and you'll see again that they just don't start until later on now something a little bit more interesting and that is we need to draw lines at the opening price for some specific times in other words time one and time two now if we were to do this in a very simple way then it will work to a point but I'm just going to show you the simple way and then show you a potential problem with that so the simple way we're going to say if time is equal to time one then price one is equal to the open oh or open if t equals time two then price two is equal to the open like so so we've stored the uh, the two prices in price one and price two now we need to plot them so we're going to go plot two is price one and plot three is price two, oops price two like so and uh, again we've got the problem of them not printing earlier on in the, uh, the chart so we're going to go if price one is not equal to zero then and if price two is not equal to zero then plot three and uh, we can just verify okay so the prices were set at nine and also at 1400 two o'clock and you can see that those uh, lines are being plotted there uh, as we expected okay now that is on a 10 minute chart but what would happen for example if we were using a chart where there were no particular well, there were no bars at those specific times so for example if we look at a 17 minute chart and uh, we'll have a look at the try and find the nine o'clock bar there is no nine o'clock bar there is no line well we might wish to make it so that if there is no bar at that specific time we use the open of the following bar okay well we can do that relatively easily so uh, it means we need to change our time thing a little bit and we're going to be using some additional variables which are called price one found and price two found 
And what we're going to do at uh, each day when we get to the time or slightly beyond the time, we're going to see have we found a price. If we haven't, we're going to store a new price. Probably doesn't make a lot of sense. What I'll do is just show you what it looks like in the program. I've also included this in the on the uh, the web the program page. So we're going to say if time is greater or equal to time one. And this is important, otherwise we're going to be updating it at every time that is greater than time one, which we certainly don't want to do. Price one found equals false. Then we're going to use a begin statement because we're going to put a couple of statements here. So we're going to say price one found equals true so that we don't get a spurious number. And uh, we're going to do something we're going to do exactly the same thing for time two. Okay, so we've we've added that statement. We need to do one final thing to make this work, and that is at the uh, when the new day begins, we don't just want to set up day open is equal to the open, but we're also going to have to reset the uh, price one found to false. Otherwise, this really just won't work. So set that as false as well and end. Incidentally, the, the program that's available for download will include comments uh, in the code, which would make it easier to understand. So I'm just going to verify that. And now let's look at the chart. And this is the uh, the 17 minute chart. Again, I'm just going to make sure that those colors are more appropriate. So we have a, a blue there, which is not terribly easy to see on the blue background. So we'll change that. And you'll see now at the 904 bar, which is the, the first bar after what would have been the nine o'clock bar, we, we're drawing a line at the open. And at the 14, uh, 10 bar, which is the first one after what would have been the 1400 bar, we're drawing the open. Okay, so we've done the bulk of the program now. Uh, what I'm going to do is do another video because the, uh, the remaining thing is to calculate the session and work out the high and low of the particular session. So uh, I will do that in a separate video. As I say, this program is available for download and uh, I've included comments in the program and a few other small differences. So hopefully you might find that useful. Thank you very much.